Bishop Beckwith, before you came up the wood badge, what did you think it was all about? Well, it's funny because I was at work the other day and someone said, so you're learning to do woodworking, right? <laughs> I said, no, it doesn't have to do with woodworking so much as leadership. And learning to build the purposes of the Aaronic Priesthood into the scouting program in Glenda. Uh, I have a, a calling that, of course, requires a, a lot of time, uh, as many of us do, and a very busy job and four young children, and frankly, the time commitment was the most difficult thing for me to justify. And didn't know what to expect, uh, but when I got here, yeah, I immediately felt the spirit of unity, of purpose, of priesthood purpose, of scouting purpose, of focus on the boys, uh, and it, it became clear to me that this was going to be one of those experiences in my scouting life that would be an anchor, and it really has been, and, I, and I've had some wonderful, wonderful mountaintop experiences with boys in the course of scouting, and and those are great, but I've never had the kind of insight into the soul of scouting as I have over these six days. Uh, the, the unity, the camaraderie, uh, the hard work, the early mornings, uh, the late nights around the campfire with the embers still glowing, the whole experience was transformative, really. I agree. Sister Thompson, you just finished two weekends up here at Wood Badge. Can you tell us a little bit about your experiences and the things that were most special to you? Most special. I think the whole six days was incredible. We were able to take a divergent group of people and come together as one within a few short days and then work together for good things. I loved watching that in action. Mm -hmm. So we have before us a bear who left his mark. Tell me, Steve, how did you enjoy your experience here at Woodbatch? Um, absolutely loved it. Um, maybe the most uh, meaningful thing to me was the chance to experience uh, team development in the patrol that I was assigned. Um, there's just absolutely, um, it's a priceless experience that you can't just gain in an hour or two. You've got to go through a sequence of days to actually live and, and feel the coming together of a group. And that for me is one of the most meaningful things, is experiencing the day-to-day -day development with my other patrol members. And I'd forgotten um, the value of that experience. Um, sometimes leaders end up being more isolated. They go in pockets of training, an hour here, two hours there. Being able to sacrifice enough time to see that process at work and to experience it for me was absolutely priceless and um, reminded me again of the importance of the principles that we're talking here. Okay, President Butterfield. Brothers and sisters, uh, we are at the last day of Wood Badge. And, uh, you know, now is a very exciting time for us in the church. Uh, last general conference, the prophet told us that he was going to change the age of young men and young women and the opportunity that they have to serve full-time missions. Uh, the word that comes over and over again is we need to hasten, we need to better prepare young men and young women to go out and become part of Heavenly Father's army to bless the lives of our fellow brothers and sisters. Having just gone through six days of wood badge, I feel more faith, I feel more hope, and more confidence in our ability to do that. We've been fortunate to have many of the young men leaders in the Alpine, Utah, North Stake uh, come to Wood Badge, the unity, the uh, common goals, and the vision and the leadership training that we have received is as good as any that I, as I have ever received. I bear testimony that if you go to Wood Badge, that your life will be blessed, your life will change, and it will help fulfill the prophet's goal to bless the lives of young men and young women that we serve. President Barton, you just finished six days at Wood Badge. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about it, your experiences up here. You know, I, I have to admit, before I came to Wood Badge, I had no idea what it was about, and I was a little reluctant. And I've served in young men's president and bishop several times, and now in the stake presidency, and I still didn't catch the vision that I gained here. Wood Badge has been a wonderful eye-opening for me and uh, helped me catch the vision and the importance of scouting from Cub Scouts to venturing and how that helps prepare a young man to 
not only be a good missionary, but a good father and a leader in the community. And that was a vision I had missed for many, many years, and I am so grateful to be able to attend this. And I'd recommend it to anybody to attend, because it was wonderful. First of all, the most important part of the experience for me has been the spiritual connection, the revelation that I've seen flow, and the confirmation of that transfer that I've seen in the eyes of the presenters as they've realized that the Holy Spirit has carried the message into the ears of the listeners. And uh, my hope for this experience is that it will unite the stake in focusing on the youth programs of the church, both for the young men and the young women, <clears throat> into the, the program that our prophet means for us to implement. And I can certainly see the value in following this the way we've been taught this week.